Happy Tuesday, friends! Today's story is about a mouse named Smudge who wakes up in a bit of a bad mood. How did you feel when you woke up this morning? Smudge's Grumpy Day by Miriam Moss and Lynn Chapman Smudge jumped out of bed. Ow, she said, stubbing her toe on the chair. Oh no, she cried as she opened the curtains. It was pouring rain. Now she would be stuck inside all day. Smudge got dressed in a fed up sort of way. Then she looked in the mirror. Every single button was done up wrongly. Oh, bother, 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 she shouted angrily. Good morning, smiled Stripe. Bad morning, said Smudge. What's the matter? asked Stripe. Everything, replied Smudge grumpily. Have some breakfast, said Stripe. I don't want any, Smudge said. Stripe sliced some bread. What shall we do today? he asked. Not answer any more questions, said Smudge rudely. What is the matter? said Stripe. Can I help? No, you can't, Smudge said, looking angry. If you're going to be rude, said Stripe calmly, perhaps you'd better go and do it somewhere else. I will go somewhere else, Smudge cried, stomping out of the room, and I won't come back ever. Slam went the back door as Smudge left home. She marched across the lawn, down the path towards the river. The rain trickled under her collar and down her neck. Smudge stood by the river for a long time, watching the water flow by and feeling miserable. Suddenly, Goose paddled up. Hello, Goose, said Smudge. I'm glad to see you. Are you, said Goose. Why? Because I've just let, left home, announced Smudge. Goodness, said Goose. Forever? Forever, said Smudge. Smudge wiped the rain from her eyes. Well, why don't we go play in your treehouse, Goose suggested. Smudge smiled. Okay, she said. Soon, Smudge forgot about being grumpy and miserable as she was having such a fine time with Goose. Hare and Mole rolled around, rode around the bend in the river. Ahoy there, shouted Hare. Come and play pirates with us. Smudge and Goose climbed aboard. Smudge has left, left home, said Goose. Oh dear, Mole gasped, looking worried. Forever? asked Hare. I think so, said Smudge. They had a great time playing pirates, and somehow, Goose always ended up walking the plank. Then, it began to get dark. Smudge, why don't you go home, just for tonight, suggested Mole, as they rode home. I don't think I can. I told Stripe I wouldn't ever come back, explained Smudge. Then you'll have to stay the night in your treehouse, said Hare. I bet you're brave enough. Smudge looked very unsure. Up in the treehouse, Smudge watched the dark swallow her friends up as they walked away. Suddenly something below went crack. Smudge froze. Something was coming to get her. She shut her eyes. Hello, said Stripe. I've brought your supper. He poured them some delicious hot soup and they sat sipping it together. Smudge soon felt a warm glow growing inside her. I was a bit grumpy this morning, wasn't I? Smudge said. Yes, but everyone is sometimes, Stripe said gently. I didn't run far away, continued Smudge, because I missed you. I missed you too, smiled Stripe. When they finished their supper, Stripe and Smudge went happily home together. The end. Instead of running away from home, what's something better Smudge could have done since she was feeling angry and grumpy? If Smudge had a calm corner in their house, she could have gone there to get some space and calm down. Ask your grown-ups what they do when they're angry and need to calm down. See you tomorrow!